Question 10. Some compounds with different molecular formula have the same relative molecular mass to the nearest whole number. A dicarboxylic acid has a relative molecular mass of 118 to the nearest whole number. Deduce the molecular formula of the acid. So if it's got 118, then I know that uh, a carboxylic acid has got C double bond OOH. And if it's a dicarboxylic acid, it's got two C double bond OOHs. So all I'll then do is work out what the remainder must be. So if a dicarboxylic acid has got C double bond OH twice, um, then that's uh, a 12, two 16s under one, and I've got two of those. So the two, carbo the two carboxylic acid groups, the two COOH groups, come to 90. So the remaining bit is 28. So I can work out the remaining bit must have uh, C2H4 in the middle of it. So it's got C double bond OOH, it's got CH2, CH2, C double bond OOH. It's got two carboxylic acid groups and it's got four carbons in total. So its molecular formula is C4H6O4. A student dissolved some of the dicarboxylic acid in water and made a solution up to 250 centimetre cubed in a volumetric flask. In a titration, 25 centimetre cubed of the sample, I've got to remember I've got a tenth of the sample, so whatever calculation I do here, I need to multiply by up by 10 for my original at the end. I've got to remember that when I get a sample, I've got a tenth sample, multiply back by 10 at the end of my calculation. Is needed, uh, needed 21.5 centimetres cubed of 0 0.109 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide solution for neutralization. So I've got a volume and a concentration of sodium hydroxide. So to get one mark uh, to start with, I'm going to do uh, number of moles, concentration equals number of moles divided by volume in decimeter cubed. I'll convert this into decimeter cubed. Centimeter cubed up into decimeter cubed, up into a high unit value, I divide by 1,000, so that's 0 0.0215 decimeter cubed. Concentration is 0 0.109, so 0 0.109 equals um, number of moles divided by 0 0.0216. Multiply the 0 0.109 by 0 0.0216 and I'll get the number of moles. So moles, 21.6 divided by 1,000 to get the decimeter cube multiplied by the concentration 0 0.109. 0, uh, so 2.3544 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. That's the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now the dicarboxylic acid, the carboxylic acid group reacts with um, the sodium hydroxide, but there's two acid groups on there. So two acids, it's almost like a, a double strength acid, it's got two acids. So one acid will take two sodium hydroxides. So it's a diprotic acid, it means it's got two acid groups on there. So one mole of the dicarboxylic acid react with two moles of the sodium hydroxide because it's got two acid groups to react with the sodium hydroxide. So it uses up two moles of sodium hydroxide for every one mole of dicarboxylic acid. So I need to divide by two to work out the number of moles of acid. Divide the number of moles of acid uh, by two. One point divide the number of moles of sodium hydroxide by two, I'll get the number of moles of the diprotic acid, the dicarboxylic acid, 1.177 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Um, now that's in, in 25 centimetre cubed, so I need to multiply by 10 to work out what it was in um, not just in the one tenth sample, but in the original. Multiply by 10, 1.177 uh, times 10 to the uh, minus 2 now. Um, moles equals uh, mass divided by uh, mass multiplied by MR. So I'll multiply by the MR and it comes out as 1.39 grams. I've put it to three significant figures because um, some of the other data in the questions is to three significant figures. Three significant figures, three significant figures, three significant figures, four significant figures, but some of them are to th only three significant figures, so that's going to be three significant figures. Compounds with the um, molecular formula also have a relative molecular mass of 118 to the nearest whole numbers. These include the, the, the dial shown below. To use the number of peaks in the hydrogen NMR spectrum of this dial. So I've got one in this CH3 here, one, 
2, the OH is different, that H is different again, that's 3, and the H's in the CH2 are different again. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, but it's completely symmetrical, so it's 4. So these two CH3's are 1, the two OH's, the H's in the two OH's are 2, two H's at the top are 3, and the two CH2's are 4. Because it's completely symmetrical, it's going to give 4 peaks. Draw the structure of a different dial with the same molecular formula uh, that has a hydrogen spectrum that contains two singlet peaks. Two, only two peaks, singlets. Um, so only two peaks means it's going to be fairly symmetrical. It's going to be a symmetrical structure with just two peaks. I'm looking for some kind of symmetry. And two singlet peaks means that the hydrogens are bonded to C's without any um, without any hydrogens bonded to it. So I'm going to ha have to have a symm symm symmetrical um, structure. It's going to have to be symmetrical. Uh, look, it's got a line of symmetry down the, the middle. So I've moved the two OHs to the middle and created CH3s around the outside. So that's a peak. That's a CH3 bonded to the same carbon, line of symmetry. All those CH3s will give one single peak. Uh, the OHs, the Hs on the Os are, are both the same. That'll give a second peak. And they're bonded to Cs that have got four, uh, no hydrogens bonded to them as well. So one singlet from the CH3s, one singlet from the OHs. So symmetry, and he knew that the um, the CH3s and the OHs needed to be bonded to carbons with no hydrogens. A dicarboxylic acid in 10.1 and the isomers um, in questions 10.3 all have a relative molecular mass of 118. State why the dicarboxylic acid can be distinguished from the two dials by high resolution mass spectrometry using electrospray ionization. So what actually happens is um, because it's high resolution mass spectrometry, if it's high resolution, it will go sometimes to five decimal places. So even though the MRs are 118, it will go to a very, very precise level. The precise masses are different. So high resolution mass spectrometry will go to something like five decimal places. So even though it's 118, it will go to five decimal places and it will be able to identify um, uh, the, 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 or distinguish between the two uh, dials because it's high resolution. Uh, precise masses are different.